Yeah, as far as R and D, I would say that as of now we are close to 400. By 2030, we would like to cross 1,000 R and D engineers in India. So this is the target which we are working upon. Now this particular area of Bangalore that you know house uh, lots of machine tools players. How do you see that this particular region is helping the Indian industry to grow and up for the way, especially contributing to its growth? So as you see, uh, Bangalore as well as South India is quite prominent for the machine tool industry, and even this area or this region is quite prominent uh, since the beginning as far as machine tool is concerned. And then we see that this area or this region is also growing, going to grow in future uh, as far as this segment is concerned. So Delta Electronics India in September you announced that no, you'll be uh, capturing more than 40 percent of market share. What's the status and how do you look at this right now? So I was talking at that point of time in terms of the EV charging station for 40 percent. But when you look at the automation, of course, we are trying to grow quite aggressively in the Indian market because if you see year after year, our growth in terms of the automation. When we talk about industrial automation, is quite significant because we also see there are a lot of investments happening in the manufacturing area, and at the same time, even though we have quite a good number of operators available at this point of time, but then there is a need of automation, which is again quite prominent here in India. So to cater to those needs, we are also trying to study more and more in terms of the requirement how the automation is happening in India because. If we compare to some of the advanced countries today in India, it could be different because it might not be similar to that. So what we try to do is that what is the real need of India? How do we try to balance between the operators, that's human as well as automation, and AI which is coming in place? So how we are trying to make a best benefit of AI into the overall automation? So these are the areas we are trying to consistently work. So we announced of doubling your workforce in India. Yeah. In fact, uh, that's very much required because Delta has decided to invest as well as focus in India. Uh, with that mission, we also have set up a very large factory in Krishnagiri, which is more to do with local for local as well as also export from India. That's one. Second, we are also trying to invest quite heavily in terms of the R and D because R and D is quite important for India. As we believe in local for local, that means design in India, manufacture in India, as well as sell in India. So that's how we are planning to double the R&D strength, we are planning to double the overall Delta India human capital which would help us to cater both India as well as global requirements. Any timeline you set for that? Yeah, as far as R&D, I would say that as of now we are close to 400. By 2030, we would like to cross 1000 R&D engineers in India. So this is the target which we are working upon. Thank you so much, sir. Good talking to you, sir. Thanks, sir.